In this video, we are going to get the data from YouTube API. Now, we will make method called get YouTube data. And as I, as we see before, we need to make an inter, in the interface, the API interface, we need to get the data using retrofit. So I copy this and I'm making and getting YouTube details using the get method of the retrofit. So at the node called YouTube, go and get the data from it. So I will prepare this method, this call, get YouTube details. And if we go to the from server, and if we go to the uh, link of the local host, and we put YouTube here, uh, maybe I forgot, forget to uh, turn on exam. So go to exam and turn it on. Okay. And now refresh. We get this data. So the node is called YouTube data. And this is the, uh, the, the data model and JSON model. We go to our uh, friend, JSON schema dot, uh, to Pojo and we paste it here. Okay. This is our data and I will copy the package here dot model because I'm going to paste it in the I create them the model class for YouTube in our model package and I will call the name of uh, our class our YouTube model and I will copy it to the clipboard now let's go to the model and create the same a YouTube uh, uh, model and paste it. I will remove this as we have seen before. I'm making it faster because I'm, I don't need to waste your time uh, because I have lectured uh, these before. Okay. So maybe I have missed uh, here the name of the, uh, the package. So it is, it's called our YouTube model, not out. Okay. So I will refactor it hour and the error have been solved. So I have created a model class for our YouTube model. And I, in the, inside this call called get, I will make it as a YouTube model. Now back to our method that we have created before, I will create an, an instance of the API interface called API client dot get API client dot create. So, and I will pass the API interface dot class and our call, our YouTube model call equal to API interface dot get YouTube details from server. So I'm calling the method uh, get YouTube details from server and I will start it in the call object and inside the call object, I will make it in queue. So we have imported the wrong package. It's very important to understand the packages. So I will import the, uh, the call retrofit.call package. It's very important guys and may make some problems for you. In queue callback, we have two methods, our own response and on failure. We have seen them before many times in the previous videos inside this course. Now let's go to the adapters, make a view adapter, a view pager adapter, and I will extend fragment pager adapter. So this class will act as a fragment page adapter for our view page. Okay. So this is a view pager adapter. I need to implement the methods for our interface and be this behavior. I will change it to YouTube. Uh, our uh, YouTube uh, model and the context context here and our YouTube model. I will change the uh, the constructor parameters for super. It's get the super from fragment pager adapter and this context equal to get. Uh, oh, sorry, this context. Now, this our mo YouTube model equal uh, our YouTube model. Now, in the get item method we need to create a fragments 
we need to create fragments inside our uh, package. So I will create a new package called fragments. Sorry, I have missed it. Fragments, not fragments. Okay, I will create a blank fragment here. The first way, or you can make a class and extend it as a fragment. So uh, automatically Android Studio will uh, understand that this uh, class will act as a fragment. Okay, so we have two methods on uh, attach and on create a view. Remember, fragments have the same uh, this, uh, same uh, life cycle as the activity. View, view, inflator, dot inflate. I'm going to inflate a layout that uh, uh, of R. I will import the package first and create the layout second. Now, I need to create a fragment YouTube here. Create it, and this is the, the layout. Okay, and it would be a simple uh, layout just for testing and uh, describing and getting the data for our uh, YouTube channels. So, bundle, bundle equal new bundle, and inside the bundle, I will put the string CID our YouTube model dot get YouTube data and get position dot get channel id okay fragments fragment youtube equal fragment youtube equal new fragment youtube and fragment youtube dot set arguments at the bomb okay so return our youtube model dot get youtube data dot size And the page title here, our YouTube model dot get YouTube data dot get position. Okay, dot get channel. Sorry, dot get title. Okay, so these are the methods that we are going to create here. And view view pager adapter, view pager adapter, the same, and tably out here tably out dot set up with view page okay and we need to add the on response uh, method i will create the view pager and get support fragment manager and uh, pass the response and the context is YouTube activity dot this view pager dot set adapter and view pager to adapter. Okay. Back to the main activity. Let me go and add here. Okay. Let me scroll up. Okay, let me close it and let me change it to, to the layout of the activity YouTube as scrolling view behave. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and rate us five stars on Udemy. See you next video.